Good morning, everybody. Paulie from Paulish Custom Skins. So, as you can see on the screen, what we're going to do today is we're going to be doing a standalone traffic truck and trailer. So, we're going to, what we're going to do is we are going to open. We're going to get the mud studio files up first. So. Make sure on version 2025.1 in the corner there. So what we'll do is open your Mod Studio tool. Get to data. Projects. ETS2. We do ETS2 today, but you can do this in ATS as well. Same sort of thing, but obviously you have different trucks, different trailers. Templates. So we'll do the standalone trailer first. So you've got a standalone rear trailer, which I'll show you is the small the small box trailer basically what you use I use for the tandem uh the tandem trailer uh the tandem traffic truck so we don't use that one so we go back we do the standalone trailer and as you can see on there you've got various amounts various different um templates that you can use so you've got the cement mixer one the chemical tanks curtains curtains with the curtains with the air out Cerebral spread axles on the back, curtain, dry van, different ones, all different sorts that you can use on here. Uh, you've got livestock, you've got a glass trailer, and you've got the different reefer trailers, food tanks, fuel tank as well, and the dumper trailers. So what we'll use is we'll just use the uh, we'll just use this curtain side for today. So just double click it. I always use Affinity Designer for my stuff. Right, so we, so what we do is there you get your template like that. So this is the front of your trailer. This is the back of the, the back doors. These are the side skirts on your trailer, one, two. This is the left side, that's your right side. That's obviously your upside down. That's the roof of the trailer. So what you do is you skin this how you want to skin it. Uh, we we'll just use one color on it. Let me just put a color on it. So we we'll, we we'll, we'll just use the bright green on it to be honest. And then we we'll just put some on it. It should probably be right on it to stand out. Uh, when that swaps over, like so. So we we'll just make that a bit bigger. Like that. Like that white. We put all these trucking like so. Let's make that look a bit fancy. Basin design. Put that like that. Make that a bit bigger. And then what we'll do is Control J. And then go up here, flip it, drag that back up again, and then flip it again. So you can see that's the two sides you've done. So what you do is, obviously you can put something on the back doors here if you want to put anything fancy on the back doors. Uh, as you can see, it's got the, you can even see where the hinges fit as well. So you can actually do it around the hinges of the door if you need to. This is obviously the frame at the back of the trailer. So what we'll do is we'll call that untick your template, export, PNG as usual. Uh, we'll just drop it in, we'll just drop it in there for now. So we just call it poorly T. All T, that'll do. Uh, so, so that's the trailer done. So then go back to your Mod Studio files, click backwards, then go to Traffic Truck. Look, so, and then you get another load of temp templates that just get supplied by Mod Studio too. Now, you can see all the different track the trucks here that you can use for traffic. So just pick the one you want to use. Uh, we just use the Volvo F the FH16. And it's got there, four times two, four times two, uh, four times. And you got the six times. They've never included the R cab, I believe, on the scan. Yeah, yeah, it is there. 
And you've got the S-class there as well. you even got the Magnum in here. So you've got the different ones. I think the only one that ain't on here at the moment now is the S-Way. I think that was that come a bit later after this had been done. So, so again, just it's a bit small. The template's a bit small. So obviously you got obviously depending on the size of your PC and if you want it to look anything special or anything like that. But we'll just leave it at that for now. You can alter the size. So if you wanted to do it at the normal size, four hundred ninety six by four hundred ninety six, you just make your you just rescale it to that. So if we look on here, so if I get a new. And I've already got presets look, so I've got eight K skins, which is obviously eight one ninety two by eight one ninety two, and then I've got four skins. So we do the four K skin, which is four hundred ninety six by four hundred ninety six, like so. We'll grab the Volvo template, just drop it straight onto there. Let's get rid of this now because we don't need. It. So you can see that's just the two hundred forty eight template that is. So what we do is put it into the corner, just resize it, like so. That's now a four hundred ninety six template. So what we'll do is, so on this template, you've got obviously the cabs, the back of the cab, other side of the cab, roof, front half of the cab, uh, the truck, and then you just got the size to go to it as well. So we'll put a, we'll skin it blue. The blue corner looks so. Let's just take that down and we'll put some on the cab so you can see. Oh. Let's put some on the cab so we'll get back to there. Put a bit of writing on there again. All these trucking will increase that. I've got caps on there. You can see. Oh. So we do the turn not to void so you can actually see it. Like so. We'll turn it a little bit, arm for up a bit. Like that. We'll then duplicate that again. Take that over that side just by dragging it. And then we'll turn it like so. Now, in the next few days, maybe today, I don't know, you all see. I might do it after this video, I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna, I am going to be doing a video on the different software to use to make a skin. Uh, such as Photoshop and obviously Affinity Design and stuff like that, just to sh show the different uh, software that you can use, either paid or unpaid or free software. So I will be doing that either later today or sometime this week. Uh, I'll see see how I go today, to be honest. So what we do is click your template up like so, so then we'll save again as a PNG. So we've got Pauly T there, and then we'll just name this uh or t1 oh. or t. make sure you keep make sure your name the your skin name is always different to the other one don't don't use the same names and obviously keep them as short as you can to be fair i'll never really make them that long to be honest the the uh, skin names the skin file basically right so we can get rid of that for now so I'm for Mod Studio tool. Go to new project. ETS2 mod new project. I say this is the same for ATS as well. So then you go to what we're gonna do is we'll do the trailer first. So do standard on trailer, look so. We're just gonna use the curtain inside the box. And then we use the we called it poorly. What is it? Poorly T. Was it Paul T? It's Paul T, weren't it? So then you can click to enable in your freight market. So it'll show up in your freight market if you want it to. Traffic. Now what I'll do is here, I normally do this at 0 0.80, 0 0.60, 0 0.70, something like that, because I find it shows up a lot else at over one. I will put it up high just to show you so it shows up in the traffic quickly. Uh, and obviously I'll click this one as well. I only spawn with a match traffic truck. So if you're using like a... Um, like I've done my DPD or my DHL traffic packs. Obviously, I wanted to show up with the same trailer, the same mecha truck, uh, the same truck skin on the with the trailer. So they match, they're matching basically. So you click that. If you wanted to just show up with random trucks, then you just double the clicking. It. So then what we do is click there, find out where we put it, which was in 
Oh, where did we put it? What did we put in here? Did we put it in here? Did we put it somewhere else? Ah, oh, there it is, so all the so then you'll get your skin there. Make sure you've got everything ticked. Make sure you filled everything in. Uh, obviously, you can change these if you, if it's available to change. Then obviously change it if you want there. So you say you can select that chassis as well if you want to. But we just use these two. Uh, we just use the three axle one. Sorry. So then what we'll do now is go down to the truck. So you want to click uh, traffic truck skin like so. And we did the Volvo uh, FH16 2012. So was that one. And then obviously whatever you named your truck. Again, increase that up to match your trailer. Which I think it was as that. Right, now add your image. So again, full T1. Look so, make sure that's all the same, yeah. Now, what you do is now, click on trailer, so attach to that trailer, now pick a fine trailer, and then as you can see, the trailer you've already made will show up. So all you do is tick that, select, that'll then go there. I do I do delete this part off here, this truck semi, semi thing off, I do delete that off. So now this, this truck and trailer should show up together in traffic no matter what, all the time. Now spawn ratios, if you wanted your truck, your truck or your van or your whatever to show up in one country alone or certain countries, then you could click this and then pick the country of your choice or the DLC if you wanted to give it in the DLC. So you could do it that way as well. If you say you only wanted your trucks to show up in France, then you obviously you, you just change this to what you wanted to and do it like that, basically. Right, I don't normally mess with this, to be fair. I do have some, well, I do have to change them so the money's showing up in the UK because I'm from the UK. So, but you can, if you want to have it in a certain country, you can use that as well to make your stuff only show up in one one area. So, right, so you've got that done there. So you've got your trailer picked. you got your image for your truck. you got your image for your trailer. Make sure you take the correct truck that you're using, by the way, as well. you got your curtain. You got everything filled in here. Uh, enable uh, in AI traffic if you want. I I don't mess with this to be honest. I think this is when you do do the you know when if you're in Europe, I think they've got like the double trailers where you can have these the smaller trailer on the back. So I think I'm presuming it's this one. To be fair. But I've never done this to be honest. So, but I would say that's what it is to be honest. Right. So we get a mod manifest AI traffic. Truck and trailer, if you want to put that on as well. Obviously, you fill this in there, you want to fill it in. Uh, we'll just put it as Paulie's trucking test. Like so. We'll just copy that as well, because we'll do, we'll put that in the mod folder. Icon, obviously, whatever you want to put there. Text, you can put whatever you want to put here. Multiply, if you want to make it multiply or not. Uh, I don't want to put nothing there to be fair, I always leave it blank. So then we export mod. Look, so I'll just paste that what I just uh, copied. Save. Let that export. Look, so obviously if you were going to export it to the Steam Workshop, you know, you obviously I've got videos that show you how to do that as well. So if you're struggling to do that, I've got video tutorials that show you that as well. So we'll get rid of that. We'll start EGS2 up. Now don't forget, if you're struggling with anything with skinning or anything like that, I've got my own Discord now that you can obviously jump, come and jump in, ask any questions. Uh, obviously, with Discord, we can obviously sh I can you can obviously share a screen so we can see what if we get, anybody can help you or anything like that. If I'm not alarmed, uh, there is other people on there who might be able to help you as well. So make sure you click your mod, confirm changes, continue career. 
obviously the higher you put up the spawn rate for your, tra for your traffic stop, the more it's going to show up in your traffic. So obviously, like I say, I normally keep mine below one. I normally do it at 0 0.80, 0 0.70, 0 0.60, something like that. So we've got that. Uh, so what we do is we just go in game, and then we'll press. We'll press zero. Just come out there like so, and then we'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of that, and let's just go. There we go. Straight away, look, and as you can see there, fully struck in. There's the side skirts all painted on the trailer as well. As you can see, the back doors. As you can see, look, there's more one over there straight away as well. So, obviously, the spawn rate on these, you've got to you keep it to how you want it in your game. But as you can see there, look, it's all there. Truck's all painted. So, you could, you could paint them as fancy as you want to make them. Obviously, depending on your computer and stuff like that. But, yeah, so. I do remember, we got one parked as well. So, there's one parked up as well. So, you can have them parked as well. So that's it. That's what. That's all you got to do. So that's how you do a standalone traffic truck and trailer, and that's all you got to do, people. So I well, hope that helps a few of you out because I know I've had a few people asking about it. So I hope that's uh, made it a bit easier to understand. Hopefully, touch wood. Uh, you know the usual: like, share, and subscribe, please, if you don't mind. Any comments underneath the videos, of course. Uh, of course, come and join my Discord. The links are in under in the description. Uh, I'm on there most days. If not on there um, at the PC, I'm normally on my phone somewhere, so I can always jump on and grab a chat with anybody if somebody needs help with anything. But apart from that, thank you as always for the support. Uh, the channel's going great at the moment, so it's brilliant. So I hope you have a good day. I say I might try and get the video in a bit anyway, but if I can, I'll see what I'm doing today. Um, because I'm off work this week and but also got the wipe at home, so you know I've got to keep her happy. <laughs> so have yourselves a good day and I will speak to you soon. Take care.